Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to make yourself to become a 3D avatar in Blender so that you can perform the 3D animations just by using a piece of picture, a piece of a headshot photo make you to become a 3D avatar and finally you'll be inside the Blender with all of the correct material setup or the hairstyle with the clothes, the shoes, etc. How to make this? I'm going to show you a really fast way just by using the CC4 with the correct export method. So start from now, I'm going to show you all the step by step. Let's go. All right, the first step, you need to have your own picture. This is the first step. Just take your own photo with a very clear headshot like this, just from the front. Next, just go to get the CC4, the character creator 4, click the headshot to plug in at here. Go to the auto. This is a 3D avatar generator. So later we are going to gener generate your own 3D avatar at here and import into Blender. So now you are in CC4 character creator 4, click the image auto, then drag your photo into here. Drag and drop. Choose your gender and here just choose the clean soft, then click generate. And here just wait for a few seconds until it finish. Alright, now you can see it done. Once done already, what you need to do is just make some adjustments on the face morph and also the body morph. You can just go to here. Then first just go to the face and here maybe you can adjust the jaw. Click the jaw, adjust the jaw so that it, it will look like the original one. Then here you can just choose the face under the head. Chin. Face. Click the head face. Click the actor. Jaw. Jaw scale. Jaw height, etc. Then chin. Close. Cheek. Here, you can adjust. All right, the cheek hollow. Once you feel satisfied already. Then go and adjust the body. The body you can just just make it stronger. For example, the bodybuilder, just make him stronger, muscular. Right. Once done, then just go to the content, give some cloth at here. Under the cloth, first is the shirt. Give him a shirt. You can choose from here, there are a lot. Then next is give a pants. The pants. Then give him a shoes. Alright. Once done already, then we are going to import it into the blender but first you need to save a few files and go through two process first is the first step 001 to save your original cc project into here click file save as save a project file here as a backup model 01 save then Next is the PDF, uh, sorry, is the FBX. Just create the 002 FBX. So click File, Export the FBX Clove Director. So here you choose the Blender and turn this on. Do not change any setting here. Just export with embedded texture with just mesh only. Just export one time in here. 
0.002FBX model 01. Right. So for this time, you export as FBX originally. Do not do not save anything then. For this one, this time the character creator for you have to just create a new project. Do not save this. Then import back the FBX into the CC4. Import as the character. And here, choose the humanoid non standard. Just apply it. It is going to import the FBX bar back to the CC4. For this time, we are going to process the material baking. So for this time, it choose the actor build. Do not, do not change the setting. Just click OK to just let it convert to the humanoid. Then once you see this this conversation, changing the pros, the facial profile, would you like to save? Just choose no. And wait for a while until it finished. So now we are going to just make some changes. For this time, we don't don't make any change at the material yet. And for this time, we need to just go to the facial profile. Just click here. Just click the edit. Sorry, not this. Just click the facial profile editor until you can see it at here. Then click edit expression. FBX with frame sequence, you have to change it to become the FBX file. Then open open the 002 FBX file. This one, the 002 FBX, just open it. And wait for a while, it is going to import all of the morph. All right, now you can see already imported the target category here, just type morph, click OK. Then you can see all of the morph already imported as the original CC, the, the CC4 morph. All right. So next, at here, you save another project. At here, click file, save the project as inside the 002 FBX here as a backup. The file name, just name this as model01 as well. So through here, now we can export the FBX again. Just create a new folder here, 003 FBX final. For this time, we are going to bake off the material. We have to separate two steps to export. If you just export from the first one, from the CC Avatar, to bake the material, it will be some problems at the hair. So that's why I want to separate two steps at here. So now this is a 003 FBX final. And for from here, we are going to import into the blender. So click file, export, FBX, close character. For this time, turn here on. Just turn here on and then Take the install LOD here, choose the blender. Install LOD, activate it, mesh only, embed the texture. We are going to merge all of the material and then merge the opacity to diffuse texture. This is very important. So this is the final step to export the FBX before the blender. So click export, click OK. We are going to export into the 003 FBX. Just Control C and Control V. Paste the, the location at here. Name this as model 01. Click Save. For this time, it is going to bake the material without any problem at the hairstyle. So just wait for a while, a few seconds, until it finished export the FBX final version. Now done, the FBX is already here. Then for this time, you can, you can save this and now you can just go to your Blender. This is Blender 4.4, the latest version. I'm going to show you everything already ready for 3D animations. Here, just press A, sorry. Just press A and delete everything. Next, just import the FBX bar by drag it in, then click import the FBX. 
Later, I'm going to show you actually all of the material already done set up. Just click here to turn on the material. And this is the underwear. You can just click and just press delete to delete everything. Now you can see all of the material automatic set up properly. Then next is, is here. We are going to just go to the scalp mode to just pull out the pants mesh. Just click the pants, go to the scalp thing. Then just turn on the texture again. And here, automatically you can just swap it, swap, swap, swap one time until it, you pull out everything. Done. Then here, do it as well. Done. Then here, this one, back to the layout again. Now, the shoes, you have some penetration here. Click, go to the sculpting, just pull it out, pull it out, again, here, pull out. Pull out, done. Next, here, pull it out. Here, mesh penetration, pull it out, done. It's already done. Next, just test it. Go back to the layout and test it. Test the facial morph, the facial expression to see. Is that whether your 3D avatar is already ready for animation? Just click the face, go to the shape key, what we call the morph, and have a test for all of the facial morph. You can see all quite good. All the facial morph done. All right. Next, we are going to test the bones. Test the skeleton. Click the bone. Go to. Go to here, viewport display, just show it in front and click. We go to the post mode and test the bone to see whether it works or it doesn't work. Yes, it worked properly. Not this. Not this. There's another bone just behind this. One more bone. So I just show the name. Somewhere here. All right. Now, not this. Another one. Yes. All of the bones it can work properly. That means it is ready for animation. I just undo everything, make sure it back to the original pose. All right, done. How about the ice rotation? Rotation of the ice. All right, I back to the object mode to make sure the skeleton, I just make it just a stick. So I try to manipulate the ice and see. Go to the pose mode, try to manipulate the, yes, the ice, you can rotate the ice. Right. So what about open mouth? Just show all the name. It must be somewhere what we call the jaw. Is this? Not this. Right. Just make it up. Yes. Then one more. It will be the one to open the mouth. Which one? This one. Alright, this is to open the mouth. That means you can create the talking animation, the lip sync animation. Everything perfect. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to make yourself into the Blender 3D animation software to make your own avatar in Blender by just using a piece of 
photo your own photo and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!